Here we go. Pop-ups, rather polarizing in nature. So let's talk about the OpenUI pop-up API that you can try out today in Chrome Canary behind the experimental web platform feature flag. The goal of the OpenUI initiative is to make it easier for developers to make great user experiences. And one problem area we see is pop-ups. So the pop-up API allows you to promote elements into the top layer, a place where Z-index has no effect. Now for a speedy walkthrough of turning an element into a pop-up. Wag the pop-up attribute onto the element. Let's use pop-up toggle target on our trigger element, and that points at the ID of the pop-up we want to show. Sweet, try it out, your first working pop-up, but this needs a backdrop. Let's target our pop-up backdrop and apply a background. Now we've got a backdrop, but let's add a transition. For this, I'm gonna play with scoped custom properties. So I've got some styles here that make use of this open custom property, and when the pop-up is open and in the top layer, we can use the open pseudo selector to update that custom property. And now we have a transitioning pop-up. And we got so much for free here. No JavaScript, promoting element to the top layer, no Z-index fighting, hidden by default, a stylable backdrop, and light dismiss. Let's close this one with the escape key. Done. Your pop-ups don't necessarily need to be stereotypical pop-ups either. Take this off-screen canvas menu example. Light dismiss is perfect here. We're using CSS to transition our pop-up, but we're also using CSS has on the body to transform the body when the pop-up's open. The pop-up API can also handle focus management. Notice the autofocus attribute on my first menu item. And now watch for the document active element when I open the pop-up. It changed to the first menu item. And I can tab through and escape to close. You'll also notice how DevTools will also show the top layer and now you can see which elements are in the top layer. We really are only just scratching the surface too. Take this example, it's a floating action button that's a pop-up that's default open, and it's a pop-up type manual, which means it has to be explicitly shown and hidden. It shows another pop-up which contains these actions, but you can put anything in a pop-up. So you could put a webcam into a pop-up. Here I am. Um, we'll see what this looks like. And that was an intro to the pop-up API. Do come and check it out. Balloons as pop-ups, why not?